Okay, so I am going to frame this on the other side. So this is open underneath here. So I have to put in a bottom plate and continue this top plate and uh, handrail is all there, but this is open. So I do have one piece cut already. And I'll explain how I did this. I put my level on this stringer and I created this mark. I also can measure to where the stringer hits this here stub wall and I grab the measurement. So now we'll fasten this in here. This is 53 degrees. Okay, it's just about, it's perfect. Okay, that's the bottom. Now, we'll do the top. Got a plumb cut here. Oh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta take this out, take that out. need to find a little block to put in here a minute okay so I just had this piece cut it actually already has the right angle sometimes just a dab of glue here goes a long ways I'm going to slide it right down to the bottom plate. Okay, now I want to make it look like that. So I go on my line of flight on the top of the nosing, describe it. Square it. Cut it. That is going to be 38 degrees. Give or take. So now I'm going to measure from here to the plumb cut. So this will be short to long, 79 and a quarter. 79 and a quarter, short to long, 79 and a quarter. Surprisingly good. <laughs> Looks 
good. Okay, now we need this guy close. And what we want to do is put two random studs in here. Just going to kind of guesstimate this. Three quarters. And take a little off that. Fifteen and five. Do two at fifteen and five. Long to short. Thirty-eight. Degrees. Here's a piece of three quarter. This is the space that I have between my stub wall and my stairs. For now, put that there. Yourself. Never cool. I think this had a cool. Nope, it's good. Okay, now what we want to do, make sure we're flush. That looks beautiful. Okay. Okay, we can actually start the screw here. Oops, wrong direction. Ah. I don't think that's working. Oops, wrong way. Okay. I don't think I can get this. finger. Okay. Just started to go in. Whew. Okay. That's that. It is complete. Oh, no, not complete. One more thing here. 
this drywall is gonna follow the flight of these stringers. I'm gonna put a piece of backing in right here to complete it. It is 44, exactly, um, and 52 degrees, 53. 44, 53 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the saw horses. fits in here. Looks good. Okay. Perfect. Turned out nice. Okay, so a few little odds and ends. Uh, actually, on the outside, um, when I it sheeted the exterior wall, I ran the sheeting 18 inches down, so it would cover actually 19 and a half. So it would actually come down to the top cap plate of this wall. So I just spent some time stapling all that off. So this whole side had to get some staples done to it, stapling. And then I made this window wrong. I thought it was uh, the same depth as that window. And it's not, because <clears throat> it's kind of awkward staring into the neighbor's window there. So I, I just framed this in, fixed it up, cleaned it up. Yeah, so really, really good day today. Pretty much got the whole second floor back framed. I got three pocket doors to install up there yet. Now I can start back framing here. Uh, there's a interior walls that has to be done and then there's a bunch of ceilings that need to be dropped in here. So uh, maybe do that tomorrow. Anyways, thank you for watching. You all take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.